Hello everybody, this is Luis. Uh, welcome to my video of how to make a dragonfly with wire. Let me show you here. I have a few that I have already done. Uh, these two little ones are made out of copper. And these two big ones right here are made with aluminum wire. Uh, today we're going to use aluminum, but you can use copper also. I mean, it's it doesn't make a big difference. Um, let me show you the tools that you're going to need today. Uh, this is very basic uh, pliers. Not hard to find or buy at any craft store. They will have them. Um, these are optional, but if you have them, it will be really nice. Um, a ruler, always helpful. And, of course, aluminum wire. I'm going to use this red aluminum wire today to make this dragonfly. Okay, so let's make something like this. This is a six inch long uh, dragonfly. And for that, we're gonna need a 14 inch long piece of wire. Okay, so I have 12 inches here, plus another two. Okay. And we are going to need another one just like it. Okay, so two 14 inches long pieces of wire. Okay, now that you got that done, we're going to fold them in half, like so. Here we go. Now the tips doesn't have to be even, but as close as possible. And the other side, they have to be squished up close together, like that. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the body of our dragonfly. Okay, so now let me show you something on this one. Uh, this is very basic wire wrapping, you can see. It's just one piece of wire wrapped around multiple pieces of wire. What I do on my dragonflies, I wrap it around a few times and then I leave a little gap and then I start over again. But you don't have to do it, it's up to you because if you do it like this, it looks as nice. So this is something that I just do because I think it's cool but it's, it's, it's actually up to you if you wanna do it or not. Today we're gonna do it that way though. So let's start by wrapping our wire around a few times at the end of our pieces of wire like this. There we go. I always wrap it around maybe six, seven or eight times. You know, it doesn't have to be always the same amount of times, but if you want to, if if you want to count them, it's okay. I don't because I just can tell by looking at it how long they are. I want them to look as even as possible and about the same size always. So here we go. And now we jump a little bit. We leave a little gap in there, and then we start over. Okay. You leave a little gap again and start over. There we go. Now, this is my first video and I have to confess that I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to try to explain as, as, be as better as I can, okay? Okay, so now we have about, let's measure here, four and a half inches from the end to the to this part right here. So that's probably where you want to stop because now we're going to have to make the wings. And this is the tricky part. It's the hardest part to make of the dragonfly, the wings, 
but if you pay close attention, it won't be too hard. Okay, so what I do is I pull my wire straight up and I just fold it and bring it back down like that. Okay, and when you fold it back, that's going to give you uh, the chance to make the other wing on the other side. So what you do is just bring your wire straight again and just fold it back. You see? Something like that. So here's where you want to use uh, your ruler again to make sure you have your wings done nicely and they have to be about the same size so we're gonna measure this wing right here the first one you made and it's about two and a half inches long so we want two and a half inches on the other side and as you can see this side is a little uh, bigger so what you do is just pull your wire like so and that will make it smaller like doesn't have to be exactly perfect but really close is better so after you got these two wings done what you do is just go around it like that to make sure they don't move and it's important that you always keep your thumb pressing down on this part and that will prevent the wire from moving around and messing your wings so uh, now we're going to do the other wing and we're going to do it exactly the same as we did before. So you bring your wire up and you bring it down. Okay. And the good thing about this part is that you don't have to measure with the ruler because you can tell by the size and by, uh, you know, comparing each wing that they have to look about the same size. So I think that one looks good enough. So we go to the other one, we bring your wire straight and we bring it back. Okay, now you can see that this wings looks about the same too. All right, so we basically are doing this motion. You go left, you bring it to the right, you go back to the left. And you go back to the right like that okay once you have the four wings um, you know about the size that you wanted you keep just doing what you did at first which is wrapping your wire around your four pieces of wire like this this is how it should look okay here we go so we're gonna keep going here now you don't leave any gaps after you're done with the wings don't leave any gaps you just keep going okay maybe less than an inch three quarters of an inch there and that's where you're gonna stop and what you do it's uh, you keep wrapping but you're gonna go backwards maybe five times like so and you're gonna go back forward again one two maybe three times and that's where you want to to stop right there we're gonna cut our wire now you can see this is gonna be the head of your dragonfly we're gonna squish a wire right here so we got the wings done we got the head done and his tail done now we're gonna make his legs and for that you're gonna need three pieces of wire about seven inches long each so you bring your ruler back again and measure seven inches it doesn't have to be perfect again okay one then two and 
there you go. Three pieces of uh, wire seven inch long. So now each one of these pieces have to be folded in half like so. One. Two and three. Okay, now you bring back your piece that you already work on and pay attention to this. This piece right here, you see how it's hanging there? Okay, now what you do is just grab your piece like so and this side of your wire you're gonna bring it to the opposite side like that and the side on your left side is gonna go to your right side like so you see now we're gonna do the same thing with the next piece of wire you just put it on top of it like that you turn your piece around and you bring the right side to the left side and the left side to the right side. You can use your pliers to pull and make sure they are tied, okay? You don't want them loose, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing with the last piece of wire. You put it on top of it, you bring it around, you pull like this, okay? Make sure they are tied. Okay, now we have our three pieces of wire here. Okay, like so. So the first piece that you have over here, you're gonna grab this one. Okay, note, you gotta put your wings on place. They, they can be out of place. So make sure they are in place before you do what I'm gonna do right now. You bring this piece you bring it all the way to the front and you go around and bring it back like that. Now you grab this other piece and you bring it all the way up, you bring it down around and done. Now we have two left so you grab this one again, you bring it around and pull like that. Okay, now we're gonna do the same with this one right here. You bring it around like so. Okay, we have one more. You can have your piece like here. Okay, now you can see how you got your legs done. Okay, so, so far we got most of it done. Now we're just gonna trim stuff that we don't need to make it look nicer, okay? So here we go, we're gonna start by making the eyes of your dragonfly and for that you're gonna trim these two wires right here make them even okay and this is where you can use the nose the uh, round nose pliers and what you do is just make a little loop with them like so you see and then you just roll it you can use your fingers or you can even use the pliers too. You see? And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side.
Okay. Now we have our the dragonflies eyes. Now these two right here, you can use them as antennas. What you do is just make a little loop here to make it look cute. Like so. Like so. Now if you like them, they can be shorter. You can just cut a piece of it and make them shorter if you want to, but it's up to you. Okay, now we're gonna trim the legs. I think the legs are too long. So, you know, maybe an inch long will be okay. This is like an inch and a half, almost two inches. So I just cut like that. And I make sure the other side of my legs it's about the same size with the first one. There you go. So you have even legs now. What you do is just use your pliers and give them a shape. You kind of just go like this, like in a little angle with each one of it, like that. See? And you do the same thing with the other side. Okay. You see, they are about the same on both sides. So now, I like my wings to be even and nice. So what I do is just use my fingers to give a little shape like that. I pull them straight up and I push down on this and I squish on the tip like that. And I do the same thing with the, the one at the bottom. You use your finger like this and you just squish it up on the end to make it look cute and nice. You see? Okay, now I do the same thing with the other side. Now, don't be frustrated if you don't get it nice at the first time. You should see the first one I made. My first dragonfly didn't look like a dragonfly at all. So it just takes, takes practice. Okay. Okay, so now make sure everything looks nice and straight. And voila, a dragonfly. See? Now, just as a note, you can use this dragonfly to make pendants and on this one I eliminated the legs okay and if you want to make them look nicer you can uh, use a thinner gauge of wire to um, fill the wings you know you can use that waving uh, pattern to use the, to fill the wings to make them look nicer um, that is gonna be up to you guys but I just do it Sometimes, not all the time, but it always look cute if you do it, you know, like this. So I hope that this helps you guys to uh, make some nice dragonfly pendants or dragonfly sculptures or whatever you want to do. Um, thank you very much for watching and um, I hope you like it. Subscribe to my channel and share the video. Thank you very much.